They did not tell us that all of that uh, being my own person and I'm independent would lead to separation, loneliness, celibacy, and lesbianism. They didn't tell us that if you give up the man, you're going to take one of these things and it's worse and it will destroy your nation. They made us think that it was some kind of glorified position to brag about the fact that I got my own job, my own credit card, my own car, so I don't need no man. I don't even know how we got that mixed up. Ain't none of that got nothing to do with having being with no man. We have some serious relationship problems. You know, over 60% of our women are single, widowed, separated, or divorced. They don't have a man. They need fathers. They need protection. To raise a child, you need a parental coalition of a man and a woman. We have sons. By not having a father in the home, they don't know how to respect women. Then they bring the welfare system in and tell us in order to feed and clothe and house our children, we have to give up our man. You have to put the man out of the house. When the white farm wife goes to the government for subsidy for the farm, they don't tell her to get rid of the farm and they keep that family together. But in the black community, they make it a requirement because they want to keep endorsing into the black community that the black man is no good.